I'm really excited because we got more great matches coming up soon. Rocket versus Bobby. There is zero chance that we're not going to get at least one insane clip, particularly because, of course, uh, Youngling can combo quite aggressively. It doesn't kill very easily, but can right. combo. And, I mean, Falco can just do it all, right? So we're going to see some crazy stuff from Bobby. Yeah, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, I don't know, man. D is Bobby going to just play a different character again? We Bobby has played Pikachu and characters like that before. So I, is, that a, is that a possibility? Maybe. I don't know. Imagine if he went Puff again. If he's just like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just feeling like dragging this tourney out, dragging this block out as long as possible. It's a true. Uh, he might like, be. He might be watching. Energy. I don't know if we should give him ideas like that, man. Yeah, you know, he's currently trapped in the photo universe with all of his fans watching. So we want to keep him there if we can. Yeah, Bobby versus Rocket coming up in just a second. I actually I caught some of Rocket's sets right before we came on. So I saw the. Uh, what was it? Rocket versus Moth mm -hmm. set, which was uh, an interesting one, to say the least. It's yeah, not every day yeah. you see Young Link Ices in a bracket, uh, even, even if that. it is online. Yeah, I, I'm really hoping we see something cool because for some of the people who are just now turning tuning in, um, Rocket had a very, very solid performance yesterday. Um, was really, really impressed with the way he played. Uh, you know, Techno in the chat saying Rocket versus Techno was a banger. I agree. It was like very, very impressive Young League play. And also we got Rocket's friend, roommate, <laughs> whoever coming in awesome. with the hype. Let's go. Yeah. Dude, so I don't even think there's, there's like no real data to go off of, right? Of how many Young Links Bobby has played. I'm looking at his PG stats page and Bobby has played Young Link, according to this, 41 times as Ooh. opponents. 41 times. Mind you, the most played opponent is Fox with 2,835 games oh, played. So. Wow. Uh, Bobby enters a lot of events. I don't know if people in the chat know that, but if they didn't, they know it now. Uh, <laughs> I think probably the most uh, prolific player when it comes to tournament signups. You can call that, use that word there. Um, right, right. And I, I know you said on the side of... Um, rocket that he plays a bit different than i guess some of the young links we've seen in years past namely like axe and armada come yeah. to mind of like the two keystone people who had it as a pocket pick kind of thing uh in your opinion what do you think makes them different yeah so like we only really saw armada against young link so it's a bit of a different comparison but armada very very patient very slow kind of projectile focused rocket also like that um but kind of in a slightly different way and then axe feels more like like it feels like a good secondary and then it's more focused on the fundamentals of mainly like tech sure. chasing okay. going for like uh aggressive reads doing a lot of like technical stuff it doesn't feel like uh axe when you watch him is like a young link main whereas when i was watching rocket it felt like rocket really understands how important it is to have a bomb at all times against basically okay. every character and where Young Link needs to be to make that a threatening option, to make it an unreactable option if you throw the bomb. So uh, it's just a spacing thing. It's kind of hard to describe, but once you see it, if if Rocket is able to kind of turn it on, because of course Bobby can break <laughs> up that game plan, but uh, it'll be Very crazy. Cool. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to this set. I'm going to ask a question uh, for you and also the people in chat just because I don't I don't want to look up a ton of Young Link sets right now. Uh, does Young Link have the same kind of like bomb launch setups that we see players like Save State use with Adult Link? I believe uh, he does. Uh, I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure he does. Um, like, I, I, I'm... I know, like, I, I've seen, like, the 1.0 stuff, but already we see oh, Rocket with Bobby's the bomb. Bobby's Fox. Yeah, actually, the Fox. Like, this is one of those things where it's not that I think Bobby is, like, kind of trolling here, because he was playing Fox earlier in the bracket. I do think Falco does fine, but, like, this feels much less disrespectful than going, like, Puff or something. Sure, okay. Like, it might just be a, an easier matchup, kind of a la Peach or Puff, where Falco doesn't do badly, but Fox is just kind of easy. Oh, 
it looks like a production confirming that you don't get the same launch with Yemen and Korea. Okay, gotcha. And kill Flash Burn for that one. The goat, as always. Um, good up throw. Up tilt doesn't get too much though. But one of the main weaknesses we see uh, with Young Link, unfortunately, particularly against Fox, because Fox can kind of put on so much pressure, is uh, just Young Link can't kill very easily. You get a decent amount of damage. Maybe you even build up more damage more quickly. But then, like, what exactly do you do to close out the stock? Fox has so many things he can do. Beautiful light shield back here, by the way. Gosh, yeah, just not even respecting the ledge option from the Young Link either. Bobby up two now. And yeah, I, I think it is hard for that reason, and, and the Young Link kind of needs to lean pretty heavily on edge guards and kind of like reversals. And a lot of those reversals come from some players just not respecting the Young Link's options. So here's an opportunity right here. Oh no! Okay. Big. Yeah, okay, so that, that's what I was going to say. Options include kind of like dash attack, down smash as like edge guard tools. And then I think also just understanding that Bobby can't really realistically approach ledge that well, right? Into like an up B or could perhaps get reversaled as well into uh, into the Zare for ledge. So it could be pretty hard for Bobby to actually approach ledge. And we haven't really seen him go for super extended edge guards for that reason, I think. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think one of the good measures to see like how Rocket is doing, besides the fact, besides like the obvious like stock count, is just Rocket hasn't been able to grab any bombs. It's kind of similar to like how many turnips does Peach uh, grab? If she always has a turnip, she's doing okay. If she's never able to grab a turnip, then the opponent is kind of executing on the game plan correctly. Oh my gosh, that's so sad too. Yeah, Bobby kind of tech flubbing in the middle and the best uh, Rocket can get from that is just an error. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, this, this has been quite rough. Might again be the reason why uh, Bobby opting to go to Fox. Double Shine, probably gonna do it. Okay, get Ooh. off the option with the bomb. I think the other tricky thing with the bomb kind of strategy, nice. Uh, boomerang, gonna get the third one, yeah. But then can you actually kill from this? Or do you have to reset over and over and over? Uh, yeah, kind of interesting. I'm, I'm wondering uh, why not just kind of get go out there. Because he did show the uh, really, really deep bear that he was going for as the edge guard option of choice, which missed earlier. That might blow up in time. Okay. Oh, these back airs, though. I love the little spacing. It seems like you would be able to CC them. This is the one thing that might be kind of good for Bobby. He might not have the knowledge. Uh, but look at how much pressure Bobby is putting on through the platforms. Even though he's not even doing that much, like, Rocket just doesn't feel safe to throw a bomb to kind of throw it in a move at all. Right. So I'll be getting a little antsy, though, kind of firing off these up smashes. Can just kind of kill at this point with uh, with just a bear up there, and now we see looking for that option exactly. Just barely not able to get the jab reset, and all of this corner pressure, you know, it's been so difficult for Rocket, but you gotta commend him for kind of just staying alive, getting the chip damage that he needs to. Had the set gone like this earlier, it might have turned out a bit differently. Or the game, rather. Oh, yeah, no, uh, maybe Bobby scared him out of it, but no, uh, Zare after the. Or uh, tether rather after the air dodge. So, Bobby goes up one right now. Good showing from Rocket so far. I'm kind of interested in seeing what uh, how his kind of like edge guards develop over time too. Because the biggest thing that I want to see is uh, is how he plays kind of ledge situations against Bobby. Because that's really where the young link, in my opinion, from what I saw in that first game, will make their money. Yeah, I, I always find it interesting when we see a player start to adapt. In, a, in the first game, and then sometimes in the second game, it just once again looks like uh, the other player has kind of figured out how to how to kind of keep the pressure on and keep the kind of uh, uh, keep making it difficult for them. So far, though, like looking fairly good for Rocket, playing a little bit slower, picking his spots a little bit better, but it is a tall order to beat Bobby. Alright, let's see what we got here. A little bit more space though, I think like what you were saying before, Radar, in terms of uh, Rocket being able to like find openings to pull bomb seems really important for his gameplay. 
it really does just kind of gives you one more layer of attacks. Um, one of the things really I'm noticing from Young Wing is despite all of his projectile pressure, not so good at covering Fox's options, and that is something that, uh, uh, recovery options rather, and that's just something that like so many good characters in the game are like amazing at, including Fox himself, but does get the edge guard there. Yeah, Rocket with the lead, really, really good for him right there. And that was double uh, double Nair from the ledge, which I like as the edge guard tool. We did see kind of like reverse hit get up attack as something to push off and reset. Uh, but I do think the Nair did a lot better of a job at actually just kind of closing out that stock for good. Uh, absolutely. And, you know, Dreamland also doing a lot better of a job at just giving Rocket the space that he needs. Oh, for sure. Um, was much, much more competitive. Even just getting to 50%. And I keep bringing this up, but, like, the ASCI down percent matters so much. Especially against a character that doesn't really have great answers to crash cancel. Um, so, you know, this is a fairly decent lead, although Fox can turn that around so quickly. Hey, yeah, looks for a uh, double jump off of that. Nice wait from Bobby as well. Nice, though, following up with the roll away and gets the down smash. And once again, Rocket uh, maintaining this lead. And that is a dangerous grab, but it's a way to get around crash cancel again, right? So it doesn't surprise me that Rocket wants to go for it. Bomb Jeez, yeah, both players just kind of like threading the needle there. Okay, edge guard opportunity here. No! Oh, that's not what you like to see if you're looking for Rocket to succeed, but still might be able to close this out anyway. 111, not a bad place to be in for Rocket. You just gotta be so patient. And not like rush things, you know. The strategy so far has been working out. We just need to see it kind of keep going. Also, we do need to see Rocket beat Bobby because after what we saw in the previous set, uh, he, he just needs to, to, to be yeah, we need this. We need this. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to he's gotta take a break. He needs yeah, a break. He, <laughs> like, something needs to happen. Something needs to change is all I'm going to say. So. Did, wait, okay, I, I looked away for a split second. I saw the boomerang come back and hit him and it almost looked like it, it like extended the knockback. The way I'm describing that sounds really dumb, but I want to I wanna see it again now. That's crazy. So far, just really like, like how often do you see a young Link beating like a top spacey player just ever? Even like, even if it's Bobby's Fox, like Bobby's Fox has been kind of like taking names. So this is not like a weak secondary thing at all. That was so cool. Yeah, the way that the way that Rocket kind of timed uh, that bomb explosion with his uh, getup, it almost just gave the young Link basically a, a free wake up option in addition to like being able to do something else like put up shield. Yeah, one of the things I like about the way Rocket plays too is when there there's a chance for a meaningful opening. Like let's just say, uh, you know, Bobby's off stage or gets into a knockdown. Some people like to kind of jump at the really aggressive option uh, right. and like try to get kind of like the high reward thing. And Rocket doesn't take that bait. He's not just always trying to get kind of like the free stuff or the stuff that's like not really earned. It's more like the patience, just sort of playing the advantage, getting 30% over time, you know, trying to make it difficult for Bobby to get in. That is how Rocket is winning, and that's kind of what separates him from a lot of other players. Okay, wait for the bomb explosion. Yup, okay. But still doesn't amount to uh, living right there. Last stock, but Rocket has a huge opportunity here. Dash attack, down smash. Could just straight up uh, push far enough off to get the kill. But it's how the young Link gets there is the real question. Yeah, absolutely, trying to play really patient. You know, things like Shine can just be so deadly. Uh, in a lot of ways, it feels like an even game, even if it's not, especially because Link struggles to kill. And Bobby's just building the percent, but he is in the corner. Yeah, now Bobby's just playing platforms right now, too. He knows that so many of uh, young Link's grounded options are, are just enough to kind of get the game at this point. Still, it just feels like it could go off either way. Yeah. All of the work that uh, Rocket has put in may not lead to a victory. Weakest oh, of weak hit nares. Oh, oh okay. Bomb Nair, Rocket's on the board right now against Bobby's Fox. Question one, do we see the switch to Falco? And question two, what is going through the mind of Mr. Balls right now?
I just, I'm on a, a loss for words once again. That was like a very high stress scenario. I imagine Bobby's thinking I stick with Fox, just kind of like the way he's played so far. Uh, but it would be cool to see the Falco. I think Falco offers a very, very different dynamic, especially since, of course, um, we've been seeing Rocket kind of dictate some of the flow of the game with the projectiles. And when you play against Falco, you know, he's the projectile king. Yeah, I, I do think, just kind of anecdotally speaking, that Falco into a character like this is really hard. So uh, I guess we'll see just the ways in which kind of the projectile work can be more oppressive on the side of Bobby. Absolutely. I think, like, Falco's one of those characters where, like, we, he can look really bad at times when you see him against, like, say, like, a Marth or Sheik, where he dies really early. Then you watch him versus the characters that, like, maybe aren't so good, maybe don't have these, like, kind of crazy conversions or easy kill setups. And then he just looks oppressive, like, just completely oppressive. And that is kind of one of the defining aspects of Falco and Bobby's play, just, like, these crazy, crazy, crazy combos that make you yeah, lose all hope. Yeah, so, I mean, I think going back to the statement you made in Game 1, Radar, if, if the name of the game from Rocket is kind of the conversions he can find off of Bomb, the fact that Bobby has uh, cross-mapped pressure now to kind of stop the Bomb pull from happening in the first place is going to make this really hard. Oh my god, but Boomerang making Bobby's life difficult. <gasps> Doesn't get the Nair there. It, I love the Nair there. The drift on the Young Link... Uh, kind of the drift that Young Link has allows Rocket to cover pretty much the entire platform with Nair, rather than going for something more juicy like a down. Oh, he's sick. He's yeah, so that's sick. Crazy. That was Legolas. Legolas moment. Legolas. Gave him, a, gave him the Viking funeral right there. Flaming arrow. Absolutely. I wonder if we'll see uh, a down air strike at all in the set. Probably not with the way that Rocket plays, but it would be a treat. Okay. I meant like a down air spike with Rocket, of course. Like, yeah. We're gonna see a down air spike and a half. <laughs> that, from that'd be Bobby. crazy, so, dude. If Bobby got yeah. one. I wonder if Falco's <laughs> gonna kill anybody with down air. It just couldn't, couldn't happen. Okay, yeah, even in the moments where uh, Rocket is able to find Bomb, look, it just costs him a stock to do that. So, really, really tough, uh, tough map and tough matchup oh. for that reason. But, opportunity here. Expecting the downer from Ledge, body going for that a couple times, able to play around it. Still getting that kind of projectile dominance that uh, we've been seeing, but Bobby answering with some projectiles of his own definitely complicates things Insane. to shine too. Insane. Oh my god. This is the high level 2022 melee that we've come to love. <laughs> Just shine, reflectile projector, oh wow. And there, once again, a beautiful light show by Bobby. Sometimes I it feels like it gives a little bit too much space. Uh, like, I wonder if it would be better to kind of stay in Bobby's face, but I don't know, he's making it work, yeah. Nice kill off the top as well, Rocket keeping this super even so far. It really is, like, th this is what I mean. I, I had not heard of Rocket prior to this tournament, and I have just been so impressed. Like, even if Bobby takes this, uh, it is not easy to kind of hang with one of the best Falcos in the world using a character that really no one plays. Okay, can wall jump as well? Yeah, plenty of time here, but yeah, back air is all it's going to take from Bobby, and it's a full stock beat now. Yeah, and this is where things look rough, you know? We always talk about this with something like Puff, or like whoever's... Uh ...damage from Bobby, wow. <laughs> So oppressive in the corner right now. Already on 90% uh, is Rocket. Really, really tough now to get in. It's just going to take so many neutral wins from uh, Young Link here. And Bobby has found the ultimate counter. Look at it. Not more than just the move uh, in the situations we're used to. Also good for the situations that we're designed for. Jeez. Yeah, this is the crazy other thing too is that like Young Link has, has some, some strengths for sure, but like, uh, not really a character that's able to get like a free early kill either, you know? Right. Uh, and that's something Falco generally doesn't get, but still, comparatively, there are no shine spikes or down throw, uh, down tilt or something that, that young one can utilize. Sure, sure. Hold that back here. 
pretty good at doing a lot, so I will say. Okay. 180. Oh. I love it. Alright, and where do we even counterpick here? I feel like it's gotta be somewhere with platforms. We saw a big stage Dreamland work previously. Uh, but maybe like a Pokemon? I don't know, uh, Falco doesn't yeah. pull off the top that much, so... It Probably seems like uh, Rocket likes Stadium a lot as a counterpick specifically. Um, Yoshi's is... Eh, I don't know. We just saw it go not super great. So yeah, I was, I was going to say maybe Stadium could just remove top platform, but Battlefield works for similar reasons. If anything, it actually uh, makes the tether recoveries a little bit harder, but let's see what Rocket yeah. has before for this one. Yeah, definitely kind of a strange pick by Rocket. I don't, I don't think like a bad pick. It's, it's probably one of those things where like, you know, there just aren't a lot of great stages. Oh man, the side beast from Hobby today has been uh, deceptively strong. Bobby really woke up this morning and was like, I'm going to make all the moves that the developers designed to be good look good. <laughs> I'm going to be side beam. I'm going to be reflecting projectiles, baby. It's going to be great. A little bit of a flub from Bobby right there means probably stock, yeah. Rocket needs this to stay alive, too, in the tournament. Loser of this goes out at fourth. I actually have played a decent amount of Young Link myself, so I feel like one of the other fun things about watching Rocket is just, like, learning kind of the stuff you should actually do in certain situations. Like, right. I would often go for, like, an up air or something to tech chase, and he'll sometimes do, like, things like dash attack more, or, like, right there. Um, or just uh, back air kind of edge cancels a lot. It's just very cool to see. Mm -hmm. Like, right there, I would have done an up air for sure. He understands that that's kind of a little bit more committal, maybe not as reaction-based. I'll be getting a little bit aggressive right now. Doesn't amount to too, too much. Reset here. Off stage again. Oh. Yeah, able to kind of force uh, Rocket into a corner. How will Rocket kind of answer back to this pressure? It's a stock down, Radar. It's by dying. Yeah. Will Boomerang Rocket comes back continue. for some damage. I like that, though. I always hated that you had to, like, watch for it to come back. Yeah, it is annoying to deal with. Um, oh, my God. Beautiful up tilt. It was seven frames of gallant, though. Like, how would we ever know that that young Link <laughs> even gets that much? Some characters just don't have much at all, so it's, like, always tricky to tell. Let alone what they, like, realistically get most of the time. Uh, all this damage is just kind of the nail in the coffin for a rocker. Uh, it is yeah, gonna it's going to be out. hard to come back from something like this. Stock not taken off the top quite yet, but Bobby's doing doing that Bobby thing. So there's a there's a world here. I mean, the one nice thing, you're down against Bobby. And unlike almost every other player, <laughs> he, often, he will kill himself just to swag on you. And that's when things get interesting. The real game of chess occurs when Bobby <laughs> decides to swag suicide. Yeah, we're in the we're in the meta meta game in just a second. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, what a oh my god, god. that's actually good. Yeah, that's so rough too, right? Because Young Link out of shield, especially when your opponent is at like zero, what does Young Link get? in that situation, right? Bobby uh, hits a forward smash on shield, pretty unsafe overall. I think Rocket just gets like Nair out of shield at that percent, and even then you just get the CC. Yeah, it's, uh, that's the thing is like, one of the beauties of Young Link is that like, well, his neutral is really good. You know, he might not be able to kill, but his neutral is amazing. But Falco's neutral is like so amazing. You know, whenever I play Falco, I always think like, don't worry, you win the neutral. Like you can do things that just like other characters can't. Um, and we're kind of seeing that shut down Young Link, someone who is like genuinely fast and like, kind of creates walls with his projectiles. Yeah, needs this edge guard for sure, but goes back towards center. Not out of the realm of possibility though. I mean, Rocket's still at low percent, now kind of taking to the platforms a bit more too, I think, to avoid the laser game from Bobby. This match has gone on for a while, all things considered. It really has, and you know, like to, to the credit of Rocket, I was kind of thinking Rocket was kind of down and out for most of the game. 
and Rocket has made this look a, just a lot more winnable than I expected. Um, I think that's because Rocket adapts, right? At one point, Bobby was putting on this crazy corner pressure. It seemed like, how does Rocket kind of turn this around? Apparently, yeah. retreating the platforms is really, really working out well for him. Yeah, so I, I think uh, going to a different three platform stage, because we were talking about counter picks at the beginning of the set, not not all that bad of an idea, because it's working out for him really, really well. Opportunity here to potentially force a game five now against Bobby. Yeah, and I do wonder if uh, if Rocket takes the game, will we see Bobby go to something like FD, where you know, Rocket just doesn't have those options? And really I was waiting for you to say, will, will we see Bobby go to Jigglypuff? But... Oh, man. Well, that's also possible. Okay? <laughs> you know, at any point the odds are just... slim, but never zero. They really aren't zero. It's a strange world we live in where at any moment Bobby could just decide to alter reality, to jump off the edge, you know, disrespect the TOs and everyone else watching, but... Uh, shield is getting very, very small, but the bombs are helping out in terms of walling Bobby, but this back air... Able to tether there just from below the edge. Oh, oh my gosh, so much pressure. And Young Doesn't like can't... Like, so many characters, I think just the instinct is to shield grab, but with the tether, you can't really do that. Strong hit reverse back air from Bobby is going to promote the edge guard, but for how long? Still living, but not anymore. Oh, no! What? <laughs> I hate this guy. I hate this I guy, guess. man. Ugh. He doesn't even All let right. us finish what we're talking about. Oh, oh my god. god. No. They changed the no. production. No, oh, get rid of that. Not. He's not smiling. Ooh, He's not smiling. Ooh. I guarantee you. Get out of here. I don't need that. He I broke his zen that. composure to smile at the camera <laughs> and then went right back to not moving that or was... tipping a word. That was horror movie trailer status. I can't. I. You need to warn us when we're doing that, Austin. I don't like that. I heard the I song, like that at all. the song music, the psycho music, man. Like, <laughs> just pulls oh up gosh. the shower curtain and is like, "Hello." Um, yeah, that shining moment for sure. Uh, oh yeah, that's pun intended, kind of pun intended, but yeah, uh, Rocket is is very good. Confirmed. I'm glad we got to uh, see a set of theirs. Their Young Link is is super dope to watch, and I hope we get to see more out of them in upcoming events. But as for GMO Fall, they're out at fourth. Yeah, like he, he's a, clearly a very capable player. I think, um, you know, it would not surprise me. Like, this is one of the fun things when you start commentating melee that's like, you know, before the top eights or at a smaller tournament. Um, you get exposed to someone who's like really, really good. But typically, like, let's say, for example, this wasn't uh, the kind of top four part of the bracket and was instead top 64 at, say, like Genesis. And we look mm -hmm. at a bracket and we go, oh, uh, you know, this Young Link player took a couple games off uh, Bobby and kind of wasn't able to go to the, or took a game off Bobby and wasn't able to go the distance, but kind of expected, right? Like I wasn't thinking too much about it. But when you have the chance to kind of see these earlier matches, you get to see this kind of player that maybe is like a diamond in the rough. Maybe in another right. year uh, will just completely pop off. I mean, I saw that with Swift, uh, first commentated his events. Uh, back in five days of melee so like two years ago pretty much to this day mm -hmm. so give them a little bit of time and they can just become a beast of a player yeah yeah absolutely so nothing to be ashamed of here a uh, really good showing overall it's going to be fourth place just outside of the bronze medal for